Hi, I'm Mel Lancaster, creator of How Do I Set Up a Blog.com. And in this little video, I'd like to explain a little bit about the WordPress plugins. Um, firstly, if you'd like to go to our WordPress website and log in, and once you're at the uh, dashboard, you'd like to press on the Jetpack uh, button, which is on the top left ish of the screen. Once you've done that, it should bring you up to this screen, which is a pack. Uh, plugin screen. At the moment, there are eight plugins available to use. Um, WordPress says there's some more coming shortly, but for the first one is Stats, which is self explanatory. And um, the Stats plugin is basically some graphs telling you how many visitors and uh, users have come to your WordPress website in a month, day, week, whatever it is. So really good the news. Um, that lets you know how popular your WordPress website is becoming. The second one is a Twitter widget. Now the Twitter widget is a fantastic hundred percent to news widget. Um, nearly all bloggers now use this somewhere in the uh, WordPress website. Um, basically it's a Twitter it allows people to comment on the, the theme of your blog and you can give comments back and it comes it up for discussions and stuff like that. So it's very popular and definitely you want in use. Um, Gravitar hover cards is basically um, when, when you have a post and somebody comments on your post, whether it's a news or somebody else, it gives a little picture and it'll it'll pop up and like be like a little hover card, give a photograph of them or an avatar. So that's a good one to use. It makes your WordPress blog uh, become more attractive to the users. Uh, the wp.me short links is self-explanatory as well. It shortens these type of links, which are quite long and long-winded, to maybe a short one like that, which is in there. Now, for me personally, I would never use them because I like to read along the links to, to get a feel of what the, the page of the website is going to be about. Um, the next one is the Share Daddy button. This is a social media sharing buttons. You get Facebook, Twitter, WordPress blog posts, uh, comments, um, and all different media types uh, from there. It shows you a few of the buttons are available. You can have dig, stumble on, email people, you can even print it, go to Reddit, and basically it gives you a load of choices for um for your social media and sharing. This is very, very good plugin to have because it gives the news as a chance to share with people there uh, on Facebook and they might have thousands of friends on Facebook and they're sharing your information or page or website with their friends and maybe their friends will come and do them and sort of snowball effects so it's an excellent one to have. Um, the latex one is one which I've never really took notice of or tried to new. Basically it just puts some geekery mathematics um, which is com <laughs> complex to say the least so if you want to have a look and a read through that yourself well feel free. <laughs> Uh, after the deadline, this is amazing. Definitely want to use um, plugin. Uh, it allows you to write posts with spelling checks and checks your grammar and the style. Style of your, your word. You can have bold, you can have small, black, different colours, etc. Um, it's really good because it checks your grammar as well as just your spelling. So. It helps you if you're not so good at English and grammar. It will definitely help you uh, do better posts and put better content on your WordPress website. So that's definitely a fantastic one to use and give it a little play. Um, the short code embeds is basically, again, um, just short links taken into YouTube or just sharing your links with people, but shorten them. Again, I would never use this myself because I like to put my own type of links in, and it's better for SEO as well. And uh, you get better value from the search engine. So 
basically it's up to you whether you want to type this in or not. I personally wouldn't. Um, and that's the basics of the WordPress Jetpack explained. Hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial video. Um, see you again soon. Bye now.